Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all see that back there? Cherry 12. Y'all see that, man. God is so good. God is so good. You know what I'm saying? Definitely gonna count the blessings. Limited release, but we made it look like it was. Ain't nothing changed, man. Real sneaker in Detroit. We still, still putting them numbers up. Still putting them numbers up. But this was a beautiful shoe. One of my favorite shoes of all time. All time. I believe it's the sweetest 12 ever made. You know what I'm saying? Plenty of them joints. Let's get it. Let's get them the G sneaks. Let's go. All right. Almost look like the old days. Let's get these things out of here. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. There we go. There we go. Just getting back, man. There we go. I ain't even gonna say nothing too much. We went crazy, man. Especially for it to be, it's only like, it's not even two o'clock. Where's my phone? It's not even two o'clock. Yep, 134. So 134, we done ran through the city. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 pairs, and we still can go pick some more up. You know what I'm saying? But all these is paid for. These are all paid for orders. Let's get it. Still the biggest name, G Sneaks. Real Sneaker in Detroit. Just a blessing, like I said, just a blessing. Cause we don't know how this shit happened. I don't know. I don't know. I'd be wrong if I told you that I did this on my own. You know what I'm saying? Cause I definitely had help from the man upstairs. Get a cherry 12 on the heel of them DMP 11s. The gratitude. Nice little review. We should might as well review them while we're here. Or should we wait and say that? But this is definitely going in the video. Y'all got to see this real sneaker out of Detroit. The best to ever do it. Out the mud. One team. One man. One man. Get the job done with the resources and the tools that you got. Let's go. Let's get it. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Y'all already know what it is. Uh, first off, hit all the bells and whistles. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hit that website at the bottom, all the bells and whistles. Episode 37 out right now. Real Sneakhead of Detroit, no help. Make sure you go tune in to that. That one's fire. That one's fire. These episodes are about to start coming and coming more and more. Um... You know what I'm saying? We appreciate all the viewers. Appreciate everybody out there that's tuning in, hitting the Instagrams, hitting the TikToks, hitting the, the subscribe, hit, hitting everything. We appreciate you. But we got a banger in today. One of my favorite shoes. I was looking through some of my old, because I'm, I'm able to see some of my old reviews, and I'm able, I was, I thought I might have reviewed this one, or at least threw this one into, you know, uh, like a taxi review, or just a comparison of some Retro 12s, because this is like my favorite retro 12. I ain't gonna say this is this is out of the original colorways. It's my favorite retro 12 of all time. They definitely was overdue. I had the two I had the 2009 pair. It was an awesome shoe. The quality is not as good as this one. Cause this one is I have no complaints about this one whatsoever. This one is just is stupid, dumb, fly, everything you want it to be. So we really ain't nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing bad about this shoe. If you're looking for me to bad shit might as well go to the next review right now because we're not gonna do that we're gonna literally sit here and appreciate a work of art that we was done you know what i'm saying that we was you know given and, and and i'm appreciative of it you know what i'm saying it come in the og box you see retro 12 original box from 97. this should be like 97 96. i think the uh the 12s came out in 96 if i'm wrong matter of fact let's not be wrong uh I believe it's 96, 96, 97, 97, 97, because the, uh, the 11 is 96. So it's around 97. Jordan's fifth. It's the fifth ring. It's the fifth ring. Jordan's fifth ring. And from the moment, this is, this is around the time that I fell in love with Jordan's as a child. Because when I was in those 96, 97, 98 years, you got to think, those was like my, my third grade, second, third grade. Uh, school years and I just remember these shoes. I remember wanting them. I remember asking for them as a child and in 2009 I got my pair and uh, it was I wore it on my birthday. I think in 2016 I, I had a DS for a long ass time and I undiested. it. I know I undiested it on my birthday and it was around like 2016 
And then I sold it out of this place. And uh, I think I know who I sold it to. Air Jordan 12 Retro White Black Varsity Red. CT, style number CT8013, color code 116. So there you go, there's a tag right there. I gotta give you a tag. We're just gonna take them out the box so we can just get some great appreciation for these things. Oh my God, these things are so fire. So fire, man. And, and I had the 2009, a 2009 pair was awesome. It was awesome for me to get my first Cherry 12 in 2009. It did all the justice. It did everything I needed it to do for me. And to see this pair in 2023, I am so pleased and just happy that they actually made it. And just, man, this is, it really don't get no true to OG, you know, 96, 97, you know, it, it, it don't get no closer to 97 in this. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people might say, all right, the, the metal, the eyelids are plastic instead of metal, but they ain't put no metal eyelids on no 12 since the original. So y'all can stop asking for that. So don't, don't knock the shoe just because they don't have that. Other than that, this motherfucker is flawless from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? You got that though, that herringbone pad on top and bottom. And then these always remind me of like ribs. And then you got that carbon fiber plate under there. White and black carbon fiber, flawless. Flawless. And if you didn't know, the Retro 12 was after a Japanese the rising sun flag. So this is the sun. These are sun rays, sunrise coming up. If you didn't know that, that's what that is. And then I always like the back pull tab on the Jordans because on the 12s, because when you turn to the side, it says Jordan going up and down. And then under that, it says quality, inspe quality inspired by the greatest player ever. And that was one of the flyest shit. Like Jordan was put on his shoes. He was putting like, this shit say the greatest player ever on his shoes. Let's just say the greatest player ever. These are so fucking sweet, bro. These are fucking sweet. This just remind me of like childhood and just, you know what I'm saying? Just the leather is awesome. There's some great leather on here. Great leather on here. And then if you didn't know, on the tongue, it says two, three. So the number two, T-W-O, and then three, which is Jordan number. Jump in on the tongue, silver eyelids. And then on the plastic part on the side, it says jump man. But on this side, it don't say nothing. Y'all retro 12, then you got your black sock liner. It's like a black, it's like a red taxi because it, from the top, it has all the same accents as a taxi, just minus the gold. And then it's like on the bottom, you just get the red instead of the black because the red don't come up here. And I think that was one of the flyest things because it really tied it with that Bulls uniform. They did their thing, and then you got the white 23 at the bottom. The design of the Retro 12 was already sweet, you know what I'm saying? And then, just putting the right colors on it, it's a simple shoe, there's not much to it. Um, the boldness makes the statement, you know what I'm saying? Another thing about the Retro 12s is just the look, you know what I'm saying? It has so many angles, and the back, crazy. The side, amazing. The inner. Gorgeous. The front. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? The bottom. Fantastic. You know what I'm saying? The looking down on them. The top. Marvelous. You know what I'm saying? They do their thing. You know, they was doing their thing in the design room. Shout out Tinker. And not only do it look good in hand, but this thing looks great on foot. So you know we're gonna get that on foot rocking in a second. And yeah, man, we're just real appreciative. I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative to be able to, you know, keep this look going, you know what I'm saying? Because they can stop making this shit. They can figure out another way to twist this shit. They may never, you know, cause they don't need to, they don't have to. They didn't never have to bring this shoe back. If, you know, if they didn't want to, we could have just craved it for the rest of our lives. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that they give it to us in a brand new, you know, more durable, more wearable, this this shoe can take you 15 years into the future. Like you can wait on the next Cherry 12 because this one is made so good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm appreciative. Shout out to everybody. Appreciate everybody. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for rocking with us. We about to enter. Oh, November 13th, man. We about to enter into our, our eighth year anniversary. Y'all been rocking with us for a long ass time, man. And I appreciate that. You know, shout out to the all the people that's just been on this team for so long, you know what I'm saying? So we definitely got some. I'm actually working on something right now, you know what I'm saying? 
working on something right now for y'all for the anniversary. We we got it. You know what I'm saying? Look at this joint. Cherry 12s, baby. Cherry 12s. My favorite 12 of all time, y'all. This thing looks so good on foot. And another thing with this shoe, you don't even have to wear red with it. That's the best part about it. Like, I could literally throw these on with this outfit I got on all black. And you wouldn't miss a beat. So let's get you some beauty shots, man. Get you some beauty shots. These are awesome. If you did listen, man, I'm telling you, if you got an opportunity, if you still got an opportunity to go grab a pair, go grab a pair. You're not going to be sorry. Um, you know, shout out to everybody that was out there. Shout out to people that, you know, lined up, that camped, that won raffles. You know, however you acquired your pair, the shock drop. Shout out to you, man, for just keeping this going, keeping this, this dream going. You know what I mean? Keeping this going. Cherry 12s. We did it again. We did it again. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing like that OG. It ain't like nothing like something that Mike actually got down in. Right there. This is actually the 12s that he had on when he, you know, got crossed by Helen Iverson. And, whoo. Mwah. Mwah. You got to love these babies, bro. These are some fucking Jordans. These are some Jordans, you know what I'm saying? These are some fucking Jordans, bro. Some Jordans. Because, you know, you get a lot of colors these days. You get a lot of colors these days. But when you get one of these, when you get one of these, man, you get a Retro 12 original, a Retro 1 original, and it's original as form. Like, not like, all right, a little mock here, a little twist here, but no. The original form. Anytime it's a one, two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, especially a thirteen. When you get that OG and that original form, man, it always means something. And it just lets you know when people come out for them every time, it just lets you know that the love is still there. And you know, they still feel the moments in that time in history, and we rocking with that. So shout out to Nike, shout out to Jordan Brand. Shout out to us all. Shout out to G Sneak. Shout out to y'all, nigga. Just keep rocking with it. Keep supporting. Keep rolling. We appreciate y'all, man. On foot time. Let's get it. Yeah, you know I mean, you feel me? You let these listen. These are OG retro twelves, bro. This how you rock them. You don't. You let these things act a fool, man. You put them as loose as possible because they got the strap. The tongue is strapped in, so you don't have to worry about it flopping for real. You know what I'm saying? Take advantage of the Jordans like that. The Jordans that have the seated foot, like this is a seated foot, meaning this tongue is strapped down with elastic on both sides. Rock them joints. Rock them. Let them hang crazy because this shit means something. This shit means something. You know what I mean? Especially if you know to have these shoes, if you know to cop them, and you know how to rock them, you got to think. Anytime I come in the store with these on and you see me rocking them like this, I mean, I come to spend a bag. I know what the fuck is going on somewhere. You know what I'm saying? This is how you do it. You let these pack a fool. And mind you, I ain't got no red on. This is this is some wicked shit right here. You know what I mean? All the early sitcoms. Marlon used to have these on. Uh, I think Jamie might have popped these off on the show once or twice. You know, Martin had the taxis. But I remember Marlon rocking these. Crazy man, think on that back jump. Ah, beautiful, just beautiful, man. You gotta take a take a second and just appreciate the art. You know, you know what I mean? Retro twelve, cherish my favorite of all time. You know what I mean? Let's get it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bells and whistle notification, man. Let's do it. Run it up. Let's go. Proud of myself, motherfucker, I done it.